That was the day Kennedy was murdered by our government. Wow. You know, by the CIA. Yep. And at the time, I remember I was in, as a matter of fact, Kennedy uh, was killed in, uh, in, in Dallas, but he landed at Kelly Air Force Base, and I was the flight surgeon there the day before, and I was aware uh, of this tri- well, of Let's this jump tri- into this first story, which will kick things off. We have this from TimCast.com. And it says, Victor Bout warns Trump of assassination threat from the Biden administration. Quote, they would sooner end your life than let you stand in their way. Okay, now I'll just stress the merchant of death, as they call him, claiming that the Biden administration is even considering this is just hearsay coming from a guy who is an arms dealer who is Russian. So I'm not saying we should necessarily trust him. I just think the general idea is interesting that this guy is basically calling on Trump. Here's what he said, quote, therefore, I think it's in the interest of all of humanity and primarily of the American people to invite Donald Trump here to Russia to give him security and protection here so that he leads this uprising against the globalists and most importantly, does not allow the elimination of the American people. I just think it's a particularly bold and I don't know, kind of creepy story as it were but i do think that in this vein we are we are staring at the potential for world war three if if we're not already in it russia wants to put nuclear weapons in belarus the u.s is providing arms intelligence and you know i'll I'll say this they're indirectly the united states indirectly has individuals on the ground volunteers who are fighting the russians i think that whether or not his sentiment is correct we are facing some kind of very serious international conflict. So I'm curious, <laughs> Dr. Paul, your thoughts on everything that's been going on with that? Well, I have made up my mind whether or not when people talk about World War Three, and most people uh, think in their mind about World War One and World War Two is a certain type of war, tanks and bombs and airplanes and all that. And I can't quite visualize that. I think the world has changed too much. As a matter of fact, politics has changed a whole lot as well. But I, I've concentrated more recently on thinking about how do, how do revolutions come about? Have the changes been made? Ha, have we had a World War III to do it? And I'm arguing the case that uh, we're in the middle of it and moving right along that, that the revolution has been fought and uh, it, it is, uh, you know, there's been a coup. The take a, we don't have any resemblance uh, to a government that believes in a republic. We don't have honest money. We don't have integrity. We don't even have people in Washington that even pretends, you know, that you're supposed to tell the truth. You know, remember just recently there was a congressperson that won, and he, he won by putting on his resume just a bunch of lies. <laughs> and and, and the, the other ones got hysterical. The other congressman is telling lies like this. And I got to thinking, well, how many of these people that were complaining about this guy telling lies, how many of them lied when they raised their hand up and swore to uphold the Constitution? Now, that's a lie that really has consequences. Actually, you could probably uh, make fun and make a little joke because his jokes weren't, everybody knew he was fibbing, but uh, the real lies are, are being told, and, and that is our big problem. But I do believe there has been a coup, and it's been taken over, and if I want to, if I can, I want to just put the date in my mind, and you, anybody could pick probably any date in the last hundred years, but I have picked uh, I have picked November 22nd, 1963. What happened on that day? That was the day Kennedy was murdered by our government. Wow. You know, by the CIA. Yep. And at the time, I remember I was in. Matter of fact, Kennedy uh, was killed in, uh, in in Dallas, but he landed at Kelly Air Force Base. And I was the flight surgeon there the day before. And I was aware uh, of this tri- of this trip. So this w- this was a, a big de- deep, a, a big thing. And th- those early years, which we talked about a lot, especially the first year or two. Oh, Oswald did it. Oswald did it. And then, <laughs> and, you know, the person they they talk about m- most is uh, uh, is uh, 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 Alan Dulles as being the instigator of all this. And he, uh, guess what? LBJ immediately said, we have to investigate this. The president has been assassinated. What? What? They never used the word coup. So he's been assassinated. So I uh, g- guess who he puts, there were seven on the commission. And, uh, uh, and uh, Dulles, you know, Dulles was put on the committee to investigate <laughs> it. So, but he go. was going to make sure they told the truth. It was a big force. But that was a big day in history in my mind. Yeah, that was the beginning of the hostile takeover of the American government well, by the spy agencies that, of course, have been becoming more powerful, less unaccountable by 
every decade. They've been doing more crazier things. And then we came to Iran Contra. They've been getting away with so many crazy things. They've never, never been held accountable. And for every decade, it's like, oh, yes, the last decade, the CIA did something really horrible, but, but, they, but they were never held accountable for it. But they're definitely not doing it now. But, well, they are. But I, I, I thought you were going to say 1913. Well, I think that was the groundwork. I, I, I start the uh, intellectual changes a, a little bit before 1913, probably at the turn of the century, uh, you know, the Roosevelt era. And the university started teaching progressivism and gradually they destroyed the whole principle of uh, like, like today in medicine. There's no such thing as truth anymore. And this is this society has become nihilistic because they can do anything they want. And they have say, zero guilt. Uh, they have no shame. Because uh, they don't believe, they don't believe there is such a thing as truth. And uh, even both religious and non-religious people sort of come around to agreeing. You know, a society would do better if one, if they had one rule: <laughs> don't yeah. don't commit violence against anybody else. You know, it, when it isn't that complicated. And basically, the Constitution goes along with that. But m not many people t take that seriously. And but no, I think uh, 1913 was a consequence of what was happening in the universities. And the universities are still in bad shape. But the real education that is going on now is continuing, uh, especially in economics and, and other things. I mean, there's there's an institute now de dealing only with non-intervention of foreign policy. And you take a, a group like the Mises Institute. They've done a world of good at teaching young people. And uh, I still rely on them to understand, uh, you know, free market economics. So that is where the real change is. And... Uh, you know, I have, I'm a fan of uh, homeschooling, and homeschooling can be a salvation, too, and I happen to have a little program for that, but that, the private schools, we still, they're still legal. In the 1980s, the early 1980s, there was such an effort to close down every private school conceivable. And, you know, there were court cases that, uh, in spite of how bad things were, they recovered from that. And, but I, that doesn't make me complacent to think they won't touch us again in private education because they will. Because when they see that, that is, the people who tell on the truth are the real enemies, and that's what's going on in politics. Can, can I, uh, I'm curious your thoughts on Donald Trump as a candidate, as a president. Is he running again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't think a lot about it. Uh, I, I think politicians are pretty much irrelevant. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. The reason why I asked about Trump is because you said just a moment ago that uh, you think the change, the revolution was, was it 1963, I think you said, right? 63? Six, Six, oh, oh, no. Uh, the, the beginning, the yeah, coup? The coup. That, that was 62. 62. Sorry, I got the wrong. Uh, I'm, you know, based on this, this story we pulled up and you have this Russian arms dealer saying Trump's at risk. I'm wondering if you think there's any uh, validity to that. What was that again? The Russian arms dealer claiming that Trump's life is at risk because he's trying to stop globalists. I'm wondering if you think that's absurd. Uh, well, to me, that I come across with that is I probably don't know enough about it to be really astute about it, but it seems so superficial. <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm, I'm more into Marxism and why Marxists are nihilists and why the, the whether it's uh, the original Marxists or the culture Marxists of today, that their main goal, since they don't have to worry about truth and honesty, their main goal is is chaos. Street chaos, riots, and you don't have to go very far to, to look around for what's going on. Their goal is, uh, and so I, I still struggle with it. Why do they do this? It's so stupid and so harmful. And the only real explanation, it isn't, it isn't stupidity. It's done on purpose because chaos leads to the breakdown of order. And uh, that's, that is our real, real threat. But it originated, I think, back even before 1913. It's just that and it actually it was uh, 1913. Uh, 63, I'd say. That, that assassination was a big thing. That same decade, Martin Luther King and RFK and over 100 people that were loosely associated with Kennedy, that they, they suddenly died. Nobody knows exactly which ones were related or what, but there, there's some noise out there that uh, really indicates that it was a big, big event. Yeah, wow. Bobby Kennedy, Malcolm